And I share with you today about the Courtesan project and the performances that happened as part of the courtly traditions. So imagine a time when we did not have the auditoriums for performance. So where did the performances happen? They happened at the royal courts or alternatively they happened at very intimate mehfils. So the artist basically was used to performance style which was a very intimate performance style. Now when we talk about uh, a certain performance, Indian art which is both music and dance, the classical traditions are very dominantly talking about the rasa. What is rasa? As an artist if I am performing a certain composition, it is my duty or my art demands it out of me that I generate the same rasa in the audience who is watching my performance. So if I am performing a ghazal, Aaj Jane Ki Zid Na Karo, then each member of the audience must feel that I as a performer am singing and dancing for that single person itself. This is what my art demands out of me. Now the courtesans, the tavayavs, the baijis, that we give them the various names. Now, in the 16th to 20th century, they largely perfected this art of communication through music and dance. Also, now see, you cut to that time, there was no playback singing. So the performer who was dancing was also singing. And what did that make? The performance was structured differently. So even if the dancer actually sat and performed, the dancer would sing and emote simultaneously. And this is what I recreated and brought to audiences alive as the performance style that was largely of the courtesans or the Tavayavs and the way they performed, they sang for an audience. Now when we say that what is the need to do that today? Because the concert halls have changed, the, the, the style of performance has changed. You know why I say that, that it's a need for today? Because we need to learn to respect the artists that performed in their time. They were absolutely well set for their times. They might be misfit in yours and my time, but they performed according to the audience that they had. If it was an intimate performance, that was the style prevalent. You did, ha you did not have a concert hall where there were, uh, you know, 2,000 people. You had a space where the person was right in front of you, could s probably see each and every muscle move or while the dancer was emoting. And hence, the dance style became very importantly communicative and was not 200 steps in 20 seconds. It was probably two steps in 20 seconds, which if you ask any dancer, it's the most difficult thing to do, is to do a slow dance. It is probably easier to do a non-emotive dance, which is rhythmic structure. But the courtesans, the tavayavs, the baitis excelled in their performance art and they brought this out alive for audiences and became immortalized through their performances. We must respect them for their art. They kept Kathak, Tumri, Dadra, Ghazal alive for you and me to perform today. The Courtesan Project celebrates the Dawaiyas, the courtesans and their art 
giving them the right for their performance art depending on the times that they lived in and they performed in for the audience they performed for. जाने किसे कहना करो